and we're back for day five of how much VR can I gain in a single week. And in today's video, we're gonna be rocking with the Varmint. Now, as I've been saying, I've been going through all the meta builds with Light Blue Yoshi, of course. And today we're probably on the most underrated and underused of the bunch, which is the Varmint, of course. It actually shares the same stats as the City Tripper and the Pipe Frame. Although, basically, no one ever uses this combo. There is a pipe frame right there, I was about to say. Pipe frame's not too uncommon nowadays. City Tripper is pretty rare. And then this combo is just simply never used. There's a couple people here and there I see use it. But that really is it. Uh, and another thing, I'm actually using the Pro Controller today. The so last three or maybe even four days, I've been using the GameCube Controller, trying to get used to that. And I was really hoping I'd pull some protection. We get the Piranha Plant there. We chop them anyways. It doesn't matter. But yeah, we're rocking the Pro Controller. I'm going to see how I do with it. If I can maybe do better since I am, of course, a little bit more comfortable, more used to it. Since like 99% of my time in this game has been using the Pro Controller. And I don't know. I feel like a big reason I want to switch was for the motion controls. But at the same time, I've barely even used them. I feel like... When I do use them, it's only for like a very small amount of time and I'm really not saving that much time in general. But I don't know, maybe the motion controls are a little bit overrated. Um, and then of course, as you guys know, I never shake to trick even with the Pro Controller, so that doesn't really matter. And I think in general, I'm just more comfortable with the Pro Controller compared to the GameCube Controller. It just feels a little bit better in my hands. Especially the main problem I've been having is the triggers, like the R trigger or trying to use maybe Z instead to drift. They're just pretty brutal on the GameCube controller and just simply hard to use and hard to get used to. Whereas the Pro Controller is just that much more comfortable. And yeah, not much has happened in this race. This is Water Park. What can you expect? We're going to finish in 7th and move on to the next race, kicking things off with a minus 7. DS Mario Circuit. You guys probably noticed I am in a regional room. The VR is a little bit more evenly distributed. But there are like three max VR players, at least when I checked and I joined the room. There's a couple 20k and a 30k player. So I feel like the average is actually pretty solid VR wise for my gains today. We're gonna have to see, you know, how we can do in this room and see if we can get some good solid gains for today's session. Another reason, of course, to play regionals is just the connection is so much better. I won't have to deal with all the crazy lag you get when you're playing with players around the world. And I could really just use a break from that, honestly, after the last couple episodes. You know, we had one where I was just getting comboed like crazy because of it. Then I had an episode where I was doing pretty well. And the last episode started off strong, but the last couple races were just absolutely brutal. So yeah, we're going to kind of chill a little bit, see if we can still get some good VR and hopefully get some good races. If the races aren't, you know, to my liking, I will probably switch it up and go over to a worldwide. I'm going to give this a shot. Every once in a while, you can find a really good regional room of course typically when i play this game the regional rooms are a little bit lackluster but yeah every once in a while you can find a really fun really stacked room we get the shock already let's use it into the set did we dodge anyone i don't really think we did and i'm gonna go ahead and avoid that mushroom a little bit of a scuff shroomless cut we can use a shroom here and yeah we're gonna try to smuggle these shrooms all the way up into the front as we have a golden in the pocket as well so that is pretty awesome oh no we're gonna get bumped that's okay we can afford to lose one last shroom we can use this shroom on the shortcut here, and then we can start the golden mushroom. Gotta watch out for like a green shell or something. Oh no, what is that bump? Good thing I can use this and it will last until the shortcut here. And we're getting bumped left and right off the track. That is really lucky. Wait, they failed too. They went off the track. Am I gonna come away with the first place here? I don't know, it's gonna be close. No, that player's gonna pass me, but I can red shell them. And we can get back the first. The blue shell is coming. I was getting scared. What a crazy finish. A clutch red shell, the first place, and the plus 26. EC3, unfortunately, we did not get my Toad's Turnpike pick. I think I was like the only person that voted for it, of course. That's okay. I like this track too. We can see if we can get another first. And wait, we're gonna get leg trilled. Not only leg trilled, but leg trilled into the lava. That is terrible timing on that. I didn't even know you could fall down in between, but I guess, yeah, if you look at it, there is just enough room. I like every one of those ramps. That you can fall in between it and some more bad timing the lava is going to spawn right on top of me i guess we're playing this one from the back i normally have decent luck on this track when playing from the back i guess we're gonna have to see i definitely think there is a lot of comeback potential rather on this track and i'm gonna fail i was hoping to chain the star one more time that's a good pull though 
Once I get some more coins here, maybe let's go ahead and use it in the shortcut. And I'll save this golden for a little while. But yeah, so far the races have been pretty good, all things considered. That's kind of my number one uh, concern, I guess, when it does come to these regional rooms, as a lot of the time the skill level of the players in the room is just not the same as Worldwide's, even though you do have, you know, similar VRs. And I got started earlier. I'm too slow. I get started by that player. We only have one coin again. I'm going to go wide for a couple of coins here and just kind of take it easy. We get the shock for the second race in a row. Wow, that is crazy. I'm just going to use it. There's a couple players in stars there, but I just need to simply chain it. And yeah, let's just use everything. Honestly, I didn't want to get hit by that green shell on the ground. So I had a star and I do want to get rid of this golden but I can make sure I don't miss a chain here. But just like that, we're back. We're in six. I was hoping for a mushroom there. But I guess we can use this fire and that's okay as well. The blue shell is going to come on this path. I knew that was, was going to happen. I had nowhere to go too because I was kind of stuck there. And then we're going to get started for like the third time. And I'm going to have to wait for this player. They're going to back the red shell for no reason. Why do so many players always insist on backing a red shell instead of throwing it forward? Like it literally is a red shell. We get the second shock of the race. Even though I went off the track there, it doesn't really matter. It's not going to help me. That is a brutal way to finish. And can we get a bill? We cannot get a bill, but we're somehow not in last. So I guess I'm going to take a 10th place. What a crazy way to end the race here. I was trying to finish on the edge there. It will not happen. And we're going to get the 10th either way in the minus 22. Moonview Highway. Let's bounce back in this next race as... I don't even know what to say about that last race. I had crazy luck. I pulled not one, but two shocks. I don't think I've ever pulled two shocks in the same race without, like, custom items. And then at the same time, I'm just a magnet for literally every item. I got, like, starred three or four times. We get hit by the blue. We get hit by so many other items. So, yeah, I kind of evened out. Even, probably not even evened out. Worked in the negative for me as I, you know, finish in a bottom spot there. Yeah, we're going to see if we can redeem ourselves here this is not a good track for that though at least to be starting in the back as this is definitely a front running track we're gonna need maybe a shock or something after the boost panel set or maybe just some good power items to help us catch up and i feel like literally every time i play this track online someone hits the bomb car on lap one and someone did on this one as well i cannot get my mini turbos there i'm gonna throw on my tricks as well there's fire we somehow evade it like at the very end and yeah they hit the bomb car again there's so many players that hit the bomb cars online it is crazy and i just barely got caught that time unfortunately and well there goes my protection and we only have three coins as well the blue is just out that player is going to get redded maybe this player can continue to red players they will and watch out for their boomerang here can we get something we don't get anything great that player has the super horn actually let's go ahead and swear for the double box or to get an item they're going to use it even though they're in first and we can just bomb them. That was a really weird decision. I wasn't even close to them. They just used their super horn in first with no one around them when there could definitely be another blue. But yeah, another bomb car. That's like the third bomb car that has gone off. And of course, we get booed for the second time in this race. I feel like that always happens too. You know, when I get booed once, I get booed like twice the same race and then I just won't get booed for a while after that. Also, that red shell, if you guys saw that, just skipped like three people on that corner. That was weird and hit me. I don't know what's even happening this race. There's more green shell spam. There's another red shell. We are just getting comboed at the worst time. And we're going to just hope for the best here. And we're not going to get it. Yeah, we're going to fall down to ninth, or I guess eighth place. A little bit unlucky there at the end getting hit in the minus nine of Paris. Unfortunately, this always happens. It's bound to happen. I mean, to be fair, I voted for Tokyo Blur because I knew everyone was going to vote for this. And then we end up on Paris. And as you guys can see, we have Hydric Sub in the room. I mean, they've been in the room for a couple of races. They just changed their name, it looks like. And I think it was like day three, I want to say maybe, or day two that we had Hydrix fan. I'm kind of starting my own little family, it looks like, in these videos. And once again, we're in the back. We've had some good races the last couple of races. I just have been not on the great, you know, end of them. So hopefully we can finally bounce back here on this Paris race. Hopefully I can not just pull shrooms this whole race. This is giving me PTSD from that Sky High Sunday race where I pulled like 31 mushrooms in a single race. I think I pulled mushrooms at every single box except for one, which is just absolutely insane. Especially on a track like this where I'm not going to be able to catch up without the help of items because it's more of a runner, I believe. Especially when we're getting hit like that with items. I'm going to need all the help I can get. 
But yeah, we're still only in ninth. I only have five coins. We're gonna just move forward here. We're up in seventh, actually. But I figured that was fine. Yeah, that player slowed up for the boxes, but when the people in first are far enough ahead, it doesn't really matter, um, you know, what place you're in. You will get a better box, typically. And yeah, we're just gonna chain three stars in a row. That's the luck I need. That's what I'm talking about. We can go ahead and star that player. Keep going forward. Shroom up here. And our star's still going. Oh, that lasted a while. We need to watch out. And of course, we get target shocked as soon as our star expires. We had three stars in a row. And it is not enough to get the shock dodge. Although I really can't complain about uh, shock luck because I pulled a shock in that DS Mario Circuit race and then pulled two shocks on Bowser's Castle 3, which like I said, I literally have never done before. So yeah, I definitely cannot complain about my item luck. And we'll just go ahead and spam all these items. We can go in and snipe that Tanuki Mario, but they're going to bump us. And what is this pull? Wait, I'm in fourth place. I'm so confused. How am I so far up? Where did everyone go? Everyone just like disappeared. We're going to go ahead and spam the fire. My item didn't come out. I pressed the item button. I think it was too soon after I used my fire there. That is super unlucky again. And yeah, we're going to fall down to seventh. Another crazy race and their crazy finish and the minus six squeaky clean sprint. These races really are coming down to the wire. Unfortunately, I have been on the bad end of them pretty much every race the last couple races. Also, what are my lines trying to go for some fancy snaking there? That's okay though. It's still early. We're in 10th already, but it doesn't really matter. And yeah, that last race, I was surprised to see how far I had climbed. I was up like in fourth there. And as you guys know, there is a little bit of a delay when you use an item and that seems to get me a lot recently where I'm just kind of you know, using an item, and then as soon as I need to use another item, I just cannot, and we get hit. Because that red shell just was perfectly timed to hit me after I used my fire. And yeah, I don't know what my lines are this race. We're just going to try to keep it moving forward here. Try to get some coins, try to catch up. And I definitely feel like there is some potential to gain some good VR. It has just been coming down, like I said, to the wire basically the last couple races. And we have just not been on the fortunate end. But of course, the luck I do find always balances itself out as we get hit with a random fireball. But yeah, the luck always bounces it out. We're gonna bounce itself out rather, but yeah, we're gonna probably get a little more lucky or at least get a couple better spots. I've been really losing too much VR. Like I said, the VR in this room is pretty good. So even for like middle spots like I've been getting, I haven't really been falling too far, which is nice. And yeah, the pack is insanely close right now. Like so many people are right here on top of me. You can go ahead and just spam this fire. Get rid of it, see what else we can get. We get the boomerang, we're in like third or fourth, just like that. And the red shell, okay, that's actually not coming for me. I'm just gonna play a little bit more defensive, maybe that will help. And we can see what will happen here. Go ahead and throw this red shell forward at the set, get it back our boomerang, we can take out that player. But I actually hit them perfectly on the box and they're gonna take the box I was going for. What are the chances? I figured I'd get them like just after the set. Um, but I, I was a little bit too early there. But yeah, we're still chilling. That's a red shell. I'm going to have to like cancel my drift and get better alignment. And then of course there's going to be a shock. But wait, we get a boomerang back. That's actually not too bad. Can I get this item box? Nice. Watch out for this player on the star. Barely just avoid them there. Another red shell. I throw it. We're good. I can't see anything. There's like bananas all over the place. The blooper is throwing me off. That's fire, of course. There's always fire in these rooms. And yeah, an unfortunate shock for us there. I'm just going to play it safe and go down low here because we have the shrooms. And hopefully I can... At least hold on to my sixth place here, maybe even gain a spot or two. Uh, okay, I'll finish in fifth. That's all right. An unfortunate shock at the end, but we still get a decent spot and we get the plus five. I think it's time for another first place as we're basically like down 10 for the day. I keep finishing between like fifth and seventh, either gaining like five VR or losing five VR. And I feel like I'm not really making any progress at all. If that's going to continue being the case, Maybe things will change, maybe not. I feel like, like I said, everything's kind of evening out, which is in general actually not good because I'm not gonna be able to gain really any VR if I keep, you know, gaining some here, but then losing it back the next race. And okay, everyone has red shells. Let's just stay wide and let them pass us. Wait, I think they lag trailed each other actually. And yeah, we're in second. I think it might be worthwhile to chain this, this shroom here. And yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Try to get ahead a little bit. Use our coin, get our red shell out, and we can red out first. They do have the shroom though, in case a blue comes. Maybe I'll let them kind of chill there. I feel like in general, that's the right thing to do. But at the same time, you are putting yourself at, you know, more risk by 
letting them being first because when you're in first you don't have to worry about anyone ahead of you just players behind you and i think they took the shortcut then just disappeared i don't know where they even went there's they were a king boo player i think right but they are like nowheres to be found and now we're just the lone player in first we're gonna head and get go ahead and get an item in the pocket rather in case a boo comes and steals my coin but yeah, we are chilling for now. I'm not really sure what happened still. I don't know where they went. Okay, I see them in the pack now. We must have got hit with something after that shortcut. Can we get the shroom? Nice, we can. And for now, yeah, I can just hold on to my items and see what will happen. This is typically a good front running track. Although, there hasn't been a blue shell yet. There hasn't really been much happen, honestly. There still could be a shock, still could be a blue shell. We will just have to see. I'm going to continue to hold this item. And probably chain. Okay, never mind. I will have to use my items now for that red shell. But yeah, I'll, I was going to chain up the double because I want to make sure to keep a coin in the front and hopefully get a super horn. And I guess everyone was taking each other out in the pack. There's another red that's going to come for me. I cannot use my items in time. I'll go ahead and just chain that to get back up to nine coins and keep getting these ground shrooms. There's been quite a few ground shrooms, thankfully. And I feel like there will be a shock just because we do have a bit of a lead still here. Uh, there's some more red shells though it looks like so many red shells oh, i just barely missed that shroom we still do have a little bit of a lead but not enough if we get comboed here so i don't know what's gonna happen we get the banana yeah i'm just gonna go for it i'm not gonna go for the item let's just stay down the middle and is there really not gonna be a shock or a blue shell this race that is kind of crazy super lucky just what we needed always could when the luck is on your end like that okay there's the blue shell finally it's kind of strange normally there's at least one if not two on this track because of how long it is I will take that all day in the plus 25. New York Minute, another city track. I feel like I have no idea how to play this track still. It is super weird. I feel like I prefer to bag, so I might just go ahead and try that. I normally don't hard bag on this track. I normally try to run and see what happens. Uh, but I feel like the end is just so prime to get combo, to get Mario Kart. It's just one of those tracks, you guys know what I mean? Like, Mount Wario is like that for sure. There's just so many tracks in this game where... It's just like a prime opportunity for you to get Mario Karted. And this always happens on this track as well, just because of, I think, the, where the last item set is and kind of the winding section. There's always like a late shock, it seems like. So yeah, we're just going to take it easy and actually try to bag this one. I have been trying my luck recently at bagging more tracks, like actually going out of my way to hard bag and not really worry about catching up until the end. And I've had some decent results. My new favorite bag track is actually Toad's Turnpike because of that. And I normally do get like some decent spots at least. Oh, but yeah, everyone's getting taken out. We can just kind of chill back here. Gotta watch out for these items. And I'm gonna go ahead and just slow down here. Hopefully get this in ninth place. Okay, I think that was in ninth place. I'm not sure actually. It looks like it was maybe not. We're kind of too far up. I'm actually gonna slow down here and let all these players pass us. Here we go. We're going to go for the snipe. We didn't got... Okay, let's just take it easy. Let's not worry about sniping these players. Okay, that's actually not a bad pull. So we can chain the star into the last set. And maybe dodge a shock. This player might be a problem. I don't want to run into them. Okay, nice. We get the double locks. We're in the star. Is there going to be a shock? Someone use the shock, please. That would be amazing. It looks like it will not happen. And can I pass anyone at the very end? We do. We pass the peach out on the right, but not quite enough for the birdo. And we get the third. What a comeback in the plus 15. And we are back on Sunshine Airport. I was really hoping for another bagging track there as MC3 came up. And as you guys know, I always do way better on bagging tracks than non-bagging tracks. And typically when I kind of think about, you know, how my session has gone and if it's been going poorly, I can almost always see that I haven't really played any bagging tracks or at least not very many bagging tracks. And case in point, in today's session, my first first was on a bagging track. Second first was on Maple Treeway, which is not unusual, but definitely not what I expected. Uh, but yeah, basically, my point is, I just have, simply have a better track record on bagging tracks, and that's that. I don't think I'm terrible at the other tracks, it's just I have more control over kind of what will happen in the race on the bagging tracks more than a running track, I feel like. Uh, but yeah, I say that, we're in first, Sunshine Airport. I feel like I'm not bad at this track. I have time trial this one a little bit just to kind of get it down because it is a good front running track. Although there's really not a lot of double boxes that are worthwhile to go for in first, which I normally 
is ideal so you can keep chaining and make sure you get a coin and potentially like a super horn can we outrun this blue shell i think we're just gonna make it okay i was really hoping to make it over the glider and not get hit off and we do just that so that is great uh, i'll go for the double now because i'm in second now and we can hopefully get something good uh, that's actually not bad at all but yeah like i was saying this track you kind of have to go to your way when you're in first to get a double box it's almost not really worth it unless you have a huge lead and are trying to get the horn and yeah we can use our horn first and i have broken away from the pack and we're gonna play the long game here i'm gonna just take my time okay never mind the shock works too we should be able to catch up to them maybe but yeah i was gonna try to keep chaining items until i get double reds and then strike and take them out i'm um, gonna look it looks like that will not be the case they're gonna go wide for that that's a bomb we're gonna go really wide they're trailing it already and hopefully we cannot get or we can avoid the bomb here yeah we're just gonna basically avoid where they're going wait they already threw it it looks like i don't know where it even went let's go ahead and use our super horn here and try to get the double reds we get one red and we're gonna have to make the calculate wait did it hit them no it didn't can we get the snipe oh no they were lagging so i actually couldn't line up my snipe the way i wanted to and they will avoid it for now i'll take a second though another pretty exciting race stuck to the front the whole time and hopefully we can get some good vr for that and we get the plus 21. and moo moo meadows we've had quite a bit of variety in terms of tracks i like to play and tracks i don't like to play and of course this is another track that always finds its way into my videos no matter what but here we are and i will say the room has been pretty fun today i was kind of skeptical you know if i could get a good regional room as sometimes it is kind of difficult uh, but yeah this room has been phenomenal basically the lowest player has been maybe just under 10k but basically 90 percent of the players in the room throughout the video have been you know around 12 15k players 20k players and there's been three max players in here for quite a while and wait it's hydric sub and i with the top two do i play friendly with them do i not try to take them out are they gonna take me out i don't know what's gonna happen here i still have to find out maybe i'll be nice for now and see if they're gonna bully me or anything okay we'll just go ahead and throw the green shell forward here i'm not gonna try to back them we're at 10 coins we're in first we have the coin in the front we're in a good spot i can't tell what they have i think they have a shroom actually and yeah we're just gonna chill for now maybe i can back out for a potential blue shell now yeah, we're gonna go ahead and chain and what's gonna happen oh we get the double protection this is awesome of course there's a blue shell oh no they're gonna try to red they're gonna red me we have the bomb for that and yeah we can go ahead and chain again at this set and see if we can get something better but oh, we get the banana in the front unfortunately i was hoping for a super horn there we do not get it now we can get all the tricks in the world though here and it looks like we'll be good for the first place on moo moon meadows there's the blue shell once again a little bit too late getting lucky with the blue same thing happened on maple treeway where i finished the race after being in first like the whole race and then the blue came so i will take that all day and the plus 26. finally another bagging track it's definitely a track you can run as well i definitely prefer to bag this one so we're gonna go ahead and do just that go backwards for the item set yeah so many players are wait did hydric sub get dc'd because they were bagging or did they teleport oh no they just teleported looks like they just completely disappeared i thought they might have gotten disconnected but it looks like they are fine that definitely can happen if you go backwards especially at the very start of the race actually happened to me so much on baby park from bagging that i just simply don't bag doing that on baby park i just go forward and then wait for a bit i never go backwards like a lot of players do and yeah we're in ninth we can go ahead and get the double box oh that's the golden though i'm gonna want to get rid of that right away and hopefully get something better but yeah we're chilling blue shell is already out there probably will be a shock here soon as well we're in ninth place for these boxes and really no need to catch up but look it's an ink striker player as well there's a wiggler mr skitty yeah lots of variety in this room as well and i think that's a larry david me too all right we can go ahead and just kind of wait at this set make sure we get the double box here perfect and is there gonna be a shock okay we get another star so it doesn't really matter if there's a shock right now we can go ahead and chain into this set see what else we can get and oh we get the blue shell this is really weird i am in like a fifth place actually but i caught up way quicker than i thought and oh nice shroomless cut for me there we have the triple shrooms we're in fifth and we have the blue shell in the pocket so i don't really know what to do here i guess we're just gonna try to get the first can we pass these players 
Can we blue shell that player on the line? We're going to. It looks like they're just going to cross. We're going to get comboed, though. That is really unlucky. The player I passed in the last corner actually had a red shell. And we're going to fall down to 8th place and get the minus 7. Code circuit for the next race. And as you guys saw, I was really hoping to blue myself there in that last race. I was so close. I was just behind 1st place, though. And of course, both 1st and 2nd had reds. So I was just gonna get hit no matter what and then I think we end up getting like green shelled or something at that point I didn't really care though as that was kind of the race and I did not get to blue myself we're back on another bagging track maybe we can do some more item smuggling here and see what we can get but I don't think I've ever had that happen on GBA Mario circuit where I kind of get a blue shell like that and have a chance to get up into a top spot and potentially blue myself it's pretty rare to even do that in general Okay, we're going to continue to bag here. We can go ahead and slow down a little bit. I'm actually going to go backwards because we caught up way too quickly. I did not want that much momentum from my mushrooms. But yeah, here we are. And yeah, we can just keep moving forward. Okay, I'm going to use the bill right away. Get the golden chained probably as well. Try to get some more coins and hopefully come back here. Unfortunately, I'm going to get dropped off here. Can we get any of these coins? I'm going to like miss all of them. Okay, we can get up to 10 there and we can use our golden in this shortcut. Hit the wall a little bit. That wasn't too bad. Okay, we get the star. That is nice. And yeah, we're going to see if we can maybe get a shock dodge. I think I might just actually hold on to this. Because I have a feeling there might not be a shock. And that's an amazing pull to have in the pocket as well. Yeah, we can watch out for this player's red shells. I'm actually going to chain into the set just in case they throw it. Yeah, they did actually did hit me there. That was perfect. And then we can maybe use this bullet bill in the shortcut. And pass a couple more players. They're going to go all the way up into third place. What a finish. No shock, not really surprised though. And we get the plus 15. Well, I was just talking about the lack of bagging tracks not too long ago. This is the third one in a row. This time it's a random Yoshi circuit at that. So I'm always glad when that happens. We're gonna see what we can do. Yeah, there's so many players going backwards right now. That could not be me. I do not wanna get disconnected. And we're just gonna, you know, take it easy as always, get some coins and hopefully get the bullet bill as that is really the play on this track. And hope for the best after that. I feel like there might be a shock on this one. There really hasn't been too many shocks today, I feel like. Maybe yeah, we can go ahead and chain our green shell there. What else can we get? We have this star mushroom. I feel like I'm far enough behind where I can get like a good pull. No, I'm not in ninth place. I'm going to go ahead and just slow down anyways, just in case, because why not? Blue is out. Go ahead and wait a little bit longer. Oh no, we're going to get mushroom boosted by that player. And they're going to actually take the double box as I got mushroom boosted through. I'm not going to get a box at all. I'm definitely going to go really wide here and then stop to bag. I guess there's going to be a shock. It doesn't matter. That player had it, the Luigi player. And it looks like there was a bill from the other player that got shocked out of them, unfortunately. And we can just go ahead and chain everything. Yeah, we're in last right now. That's okay, though. Lots of time to catch up. It's only lap two. We can still pull another bullet bill. Really just want to make sure I get up to 10 coins and see what else we can get. Oh, we get the blue shell. I'm just going to use that right away, of course and see what else we can get and why is there a red shell i think there's a boo coming um behind me and then the red shell came for me a little bit unlucky there it always sucks getting redded in a bottom spot and we get another golden that is unfortunate that player has a bill maybe there's already three bills in play um but i think i'm just gonna chain this honestly oh wait they're gonna use it before the extension that is so unfortunate as it's just gonna end here basically way beforehand. And wow, the star really saved me there as that bomb blew up perfectly there. And I guess I'll have to go for the single box. Wait, I'm in fourth already just like that. We can go ahead and just shroom up. That player's gonna throw the bomb forward and hit themselves maybe. I don't know what that was. I don't know why they threw that. We're gonna get spam with some fire too. We're just getting hit by everything. It seems like there's a random boo. We're gonna get hit by a boomerang. The item spam is actually brutal right now. And unfortunately, we pulled double single shrooms there. Probably the worst thing I could have pulled. And then we're going to get lag trailed again. Wow, you really cannot make this up. I just got completely comboed all the way down to last, actually. Wow, that is incredibly unlucky. And the minus 26. Let's run it back one more time. Hopefully, to not get a last place this time. I think we're still ahead for the episode. I honestly haven't been keeping track, honestly. And wait, is that the same player that was named Hydrix fan earlier? named can we be friends now what are the chances it must be them uh, but yeah we get absolutely common i think i got hit five times which is just insane getting hit five times like the last like half a lap 
of Yoshi Circuit there. Um, but that's just kind of what happens. They do call it getting Mario Karted for a reason. And sometimes it happens to the best of us. And already we actually have quite a bit of a lead. I didn't really do anything in particular there. I just kind of drove. We get a shroom and maybe I should have held the shroom because there's already going to be a blue shell. That's okay though. I kind of want to just break away and try to get ahead of the pack. So not really surprised there. This player has the green shell. Did they get hit by that random banana? I don't think they did. I think it lagged and they're going to, of course, lag trail us. Not really surprised there. Can we get the banana snipe on that player? We're going to miss. Let's go ahead and use our coin. Get the double. Hopefully not get comboed. I'm pretty sure last time I played this track, I got completely comboed in this section. So I am glad just to make it out alive. Okay, red shell behind me. I think there's another red shell. We're just going to go ahead and... Wait, we got the snipe there, but we're going to get redded off. I thought it was going to go for someone else because we were ahead of them. And I guess it will not. And we get redded off the track. We're just going to go ahead and spam it. It doesn't matter. We just get hit by a stray green shell there. I don't even know what happened. And yeah, the last couple of races have just been incredibly bad. Just getting hit by every item left and right. And we're going to be unable to avoid the bomb there as well. And what can we get here? Nothing good. Just on the receiving end of all these combos. Let's just go for the box back here. And really hope for the best. Blue shell is out. I don't think it's going to hit them in time though. But maybe we can pass a couple players at the very end. Yeah, that blue shell is going to be a little bit too late it looks like. Um, but I am up into fifth place. So I will definitely take that after what just happened. Getting comboed once again. And this time we're going to get the plus four. I think we're up 60 VR for the episode. So how about one final race? Hopefully improve that. And I didn't even notice, but we are, of course, playing a repeat. It was about time that happened, and I really need to learn how to do this track. That was pretty rough. So I'm going to hit the bomb cars. Surprisingly, no one did. That is incredibly surprising. We're getting bumped like crazy, and of course, we get lag trails. Some of that Wiggler player didn't, but we did. And once again, we're playing this track from the back. It didn't really work out too well last time, as this is, like I said, a very good front-running track. Um, but we're just going to try to get some coins here and catch up a little bit later not really worry about it for now see what we can get yeah i'm just pulling shroom so far that's okay i just really want some coins for the time being as they're pretty hard to come by in this track too as well uh so yeah let's go wide here get all these coins get up to nine get some good lines there and we're all, all the way up into seven i'm gonna go ahead and keep using my shrooms here because of course someone hits a bomb car i was gonna say just because there's no boost panels here the best time to use the shroom and we get hit by a random bomb car on the blind corner at that as well there's so many stars behind me i'm just gonna go wide here try to avoid everybody we can continue wide and another bomb car yep of course that funky kong player hit it i knew that was gonna happen so i went really wide and we get another shroom gotta watch out everyone has triple there's literally like six green shells around me nothing i can really do there i went to avoid one player and the other player threw them and i'm trying to avoid everyone i get hit by a car we get the bullet bill though in a really good spot. Yeah, first is absolutely gone. That's why we have just been comboing each other here in the pack. And first place is completely gone. And that's such a useless pull right now. I was really hoping for a dodge. This player's going to take all the boxes from me. And then there's another stray green. Well, I can just not catch a break on this track with these green shells. Same thing happened last time. And can we get something good? Is there even any item boxes that I can get? Not really, honestly. We can get one more at the very end. And we're going to drop down all the way to 8th place once again. Wow, what a race. And probably a loss of VR if I had to guess. The minus 10. I saw this track. I knew I had to play one more. This is going to be the last race for real this time. Because I really do love this track so much. Let's see if we can bounce back. I feel like that last race I just kept pulling shrooms. And everyone else around me had basically anything but shrooms. Like green gels, stars constantly. Uh, so yeah, we're going to see if we can bounce back. Like I said, I am better at this track. I typically do well. And we're going to see if we can not get lag trailed here. Not get hit by anything. Although it's going to be tough, of course. As always, this player's flying around already. And there's a green shell coming for us. We can evade it just barely. It's going to bounce around. We're good. We can actually outline that player on the shortcut. And just like that, we're all the way in first place. Hopefully we can keep it. But it's going to be tough. I guess we're going to have to see, you know, if there's going to be a blue shell. I feel like when I've been front running this video, I've had really good blue shell luck, but there really hasn't been too, too many. And I don't know what that player was doing, but we just lag trailed in there. I guess they're trying to take that little shortcut. 
We are just going to stay in first here, hopefully. Hold on, take the inside route. Keep this coin in the front pocket, or in the front slot. Okay, we get the banana. A little bit unfortunate because this track is tough just because there's not really a lot of item sets. As when you take this shortcut, you evade or you avoid the last item set. You're really running on very few items, little chances to keep chaining and to get a super horn. And okay, red shell. I was thinking about chaining, I wasn't going to. Unfortunately, that player got the red shell and we're gonna pull, okay, we actually pulled a green shell. That is really lucky as I was probably thinking I was gonna pull a coin there, of course. Now, do I chain it here at the set? I think I do. I think I throw it backwards and try to hit them. It doesn't matter, of course, they have the fire. How did they even pull fire in second? They pulled fire and a red shell. Just how today has been going, it seems like. And yeah, just like that. Hopefully there's a, actually maybe a blue shell late. There is. I don't think it's going to hit them in time, though. Did they throw on the shortcut? I don't think they did. Blue is out. Is it going to hit them on the line? I don't know if it did or not. Oh, it just hit them after the line. Super close. I'll take a second. But I was really hoping for the first there. A great way to end the video, though. Nice bounce back. Nice second place. And hopefully that'll push our VR up, VR up a little bit higher in the plus 23. That's going to do it for day five of how much VR can I gain in a week. Today's gain is 73. It's actually pretty average, all things considered, for this series. As we had a lot of ups and downs, a lot of top spots and a lot of bottom spots. And really only a couple of spots in the middle. It seemed like either got lucky and had a really good race or got unlucky and had a really bad race. But sometimes that is just how it goes in Mario Kart. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys have not already. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.